What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. Uh, it's great that you see in front of you his name, uh, Amanda Tide. I'm countlessly sitting up here. I'm countlessly sitting up here looking and finding out stories that kids are killing themselves. This girl was in the seventh grade. No, she was 15. The girl was 15. I think she was in the seventh grade. I don't know. But. This girl went on a site, went on, went on the site with her friends because her friends told her, let's go on the site. She said, okay. She goes on the site to meet, to talk to old friends and make new friends. They convinced her, this 15-year-old, to flash them to flash them and she did not know see this is why I always says watch you watch what you say and do because you don't know what's gonna happen I'm not mad at this girl because she didn't know better and this is fucked up how she ended up dead because of this shit man but the story but it goes like this uh she showed she showed her breasts on the site not knowing what was gonna happen and a year goes by a year goes by and she thought nothing, nothing's going to happen. See what I'm saying? A year went by and this girl didn't think nothing was going to happen. Till some guy, some man, found her. And yeah, she was a seventh grader. Found her and wrote a message to her demanding a show from her or if she don't. Excuse me. If she don't, he will send that picture to all, all her friends and families and all like that. And they and he knew all her friends and family by name and their addresses. And uh, the, the fucked up part was she died last week, Wednesday, October tenth, two thousand and twelve. And she does a video on uh, what happened. Uh, Frank told me about the story because I didn't know. Because one thing is, I, if I get stories like this, I got to put it out there to show the world, hey, this is what we got to do. And we got to straighten up. She did a, a video sharing her story. And she struggled with bullying and all this shit, self-harm. And what happened was after that shit happened, the the the, the, the school after that shit happened, the picture went everywhere, everywhere, and it kind of fucked me up because when I find out about this, that this guy, this grown ass man, is watching the damn minor show her breast on cam. And he demands the show. And he's sending, sending the pictures to everywhere. One thing is, why ain't nobody catch that? Why ain't nobody catch that? And this is the fucked up part, man. When I found out this, and there was a police officer involved, and it left me thinking, why didn't he catch that? If he's got a message from some strange man with a picture of a minor's boobs, don't you think? You need to do something. An officer of the law got this picture and he didn't do a damn thing. He didn't do a damn thing. And I sit up there and I question this shit. It's because I question this shit because he got, like I said, he's got the pictures. He got the pictures. And it, 
pissed me off that he did. It pissed me off. It really did piss me off. But I'm gonna tell you the rest of the story. It's like this: uh, she was in a, she was on a webcam, uh, webcam chat group meeting to meet old friends and new friends. Start up, that was kind of beautiful, stunning, cute, etc. And then they start asking her to flash. Minor, just thinking she's a minor, thinking it was nothing. A year went by, and some guy, she did not, that she did not know, message her saying give me a show or I will see your boobs she ignored it Christmas break came around a knock on the door came on the door now, a knock came on to her door at 4 a.m. it was the police see on Christmas break at 4 a.m. a police officer knocked on her door not even questioning not even questioning Like one thing is, he could have sat down and questioned this girl. He could have sat down and questioned the person that sent him this picture. He could have did a trace on it, on who sent this to him. If they would, if he got it from an adult, don't you need? Don't don't you think flags should have been going off, and bells going off, flags going up? This officer got a picture of her breast, and not even tracked down the person who sent it to him and he knocks on her fucking door what kind of fucking police officer is he if he passed pass that over and not even question the person who pa asking the person okay well who are you how do you are tracing it back to whoever that's one thing I don't get The per that uh, that person sent the picture to everyone. Everyone judged her, bullied her from one mistake. Everybody makes a mistake. But one thing is, man, this is where it gets fucked up. Parents do not sit down with their kids. Not sitting down and talking to them. And this girl's dead for it. <laughs> And uh, so she switched. To, she ended up switching to another school. The person found out. The guy that had the pitch, her picture of her boobs, found out what school she was going to. Found out her friends, her address again, and sent that picture to to them too. She had no. She had no one. She had nobody. Everybody hated her. Everybody hated her. The person found, okay, she ended up switching another town, she switched schools, she switched towns, this is fucked up, she switched schools, then she switched towns, then at the new school, she met this boy who she thought liked her, which he was an old friend, they say, he did, he didn't, he had a girlfriend, had a girlfriend. Okay, this is kind of fun. Don't never leave somebody on if you. But I forgot they're teenagers, man. They don't know shit. And uh, one day she got a note saying, "You better leave school." Another threat from just strange kid in school. A group of boys and girls, including the boy she liked and his girlfriend and more people came up to her while the school was surrounding her the girl said look around nobody likes you no one likes you one kid from the group said just punch her already so she did and Amanda, the girl Amanda Amanda tied the victim got her ass whipped very badly and got left alone and her dad ended up finding her in a ditch hours later she went home and drank bleach
drink bleach trying to kill itself. This is not no fucking mind game, people. This is not a story that's coming out of my ass. That's what they, that's what happened. She got bullied from one mistake and people sit up there, up there, oh, go kill yourself. Just a kid, just a fucking kid. She tried to kill herself, but it didn't work. The next day, all over her Facebook was written, drink some more bleach, no one cares. I hope she dies, no one will cry. Every, everyone hates you. Amanda tried it again. We dare you. And so much more. So much more. She started crying. She cried every night. She cried every night. Asking why did ev why does every why did everyone hate? Asking why did everybody hate her? One mistake, just one. She started cutting herself so much and did drugs and drank alcohol to ease the pain. She ended up trying to kill herself again. She failed. She couldn't take it no more. She couldn't take it anymore. She couldn't take it anymore. And at the end of the video that she did, and she posted, I'm Amanda Todd, and I, I just need someone. On October 10th, 2012, she hung herself. She is dead. Rest in paradise, Amanda. You're beautiful. I will find a way to help stop bullying. And I will share your story. Heavenly Games and Angel. And that's what I'm doing. I'm sharing her story. Every day I get up, I'm finding out teens are committing suicide on a fucking daily basis because of how kids are doing people. This girl did not deserve to die like that, man. A grown ass man. Grown ass man. committed suicide committed suicide because of bullying and ain't no damn body did anything to save this girl's life and I question these people every day why look I'll tell you this I'm tired of parents I'm tired of parents and oh, just don't worry about it. She'll get over it. No, 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 my friend. You do not say that to a kid that's being bullied in fucking school on a daily basis. You don't. That is that's not right. Girl was young. The girl was young. She was a teenager. Didn't know better. Didn't know better. And all happen, all, the, all this shit happened because ain't nobody stepped in to save her ass. And just thinking about this fucking my mind up because finding out a police officer knocked on that door at 4 a.m. makes me question the police more and more. Because one thing is, that fucking police officer did not do his job. He did not figure out where this picture came from, who sent it, backtracked him on who sent him the picture. Because one thing is, this officer was holding a piece of evidence that was against this dude and against the officer. Because one thing is, if the officer, if a uh, if a guy comes up to an officer and says, hey man, there's somebody doing this and this and this and he got a gun. He over there smacking pistol whipping some kids and, and the woman and he tell you and the guy sees that happen and the police sees that happen, why ain't he going down there? Why ain't he asking for backup? It's the question. It's the same as this one. Why didn't this officer do a damn thing? This girl's dead because that officer knocked on her dog. And did not even go see who sent him that fucking picture. 
And they said they were sending this girl to counseling. Hold up. Counseling ain't going to work. Counseling is not going to work. Because this is one child going up against the world. One child going up against the world. And she died for it. She shared her story just to show everybody that bullying's a motherfucker. Bullying's a bitch. And even even adults do it today. They bully kids. Even adults bullying adults still going today. And every day, I, I hate. I did a video about the kid jumping off the Washington Bridge. And I sit up here. Every day on my mind. And I ask myself, why? Why ain't nobody help? Why ain't nobody step in? Why ain't nobody do any damn thing about it? All they did was sit up on their ass. Sit up on their ass because it makes no sense. I question that. Like I said, this girl did not deserve to die. Just because of what? One little mistake. One little mistake. And it's bullshit, man. I'm going to actually link the video. Her video where she explains her story. Explains her story. In cue cards. She don't say nothing. She shows me little cards and all like that. And like I said, man, it's, it's, it's fucked up every day. I thought... We can go years without some kid cyberbullying or bullying a person to the point where they're committing suicide. I guess that's never going to happen. I guess this won't happen because it seems like the t it seems like the schools ain't going to do nothing. It seems like the police ain't going to do do nothing. That father, I remember a story. A father loved his daughter so much. Overprotective parents, they say. And, uh, his daughter came home telling her dad that she was getting bullied on the bus, getting spit at, condoms thrown in her hair, punched in the back of the head, so on and so forth. He got pissed off. So when the bus came, He got on the bus. Everybody remembers this story. The father got on the bus. He asked his daughter, Who are they? Who are they? She showed him who they was. He went on he so he went off. He said, Anybody touch my daughter or hits my daughter, I'ma fuck you up. He even told the bus driver, I'ma fuck you up because you ain't doing your job. Now that's a fucking parent. Now that's a parent. Where a parent's going to tank just to his, into his hand and make these people listen. It's parents like them I'm so proud of. To go on a bus and tell these kids, put your hands on them, we're going to be boxing out in the street. I don't care if I lose my freedom. He'd rather put his freedom on the line to sit there and watch his child get hurt. I ain't see one parent come to a defense. I did not even see one parent busting a motherfucking grape to help this girl. She went through two schools, a city. <coughs> two schools in a city. And it was the same old thing. And I tell you this. It's that picture that was taken by that grown ass man that started a ripple effect. You know how like you throw a stone in the middle of a pond and that's the ripple effect? It's like that. He took the picture, sent to all her friends, a ripple effect a ripple effect. Everybody turned on it and started bullying this girl. A ripple effect. And ain't nobody questioned this 
this shit because they was too much of a fucking pussy to question this guy, to arrest this guy, because he was holding child pornography. And the and, and it's oh oh and it and, and it's more fucked up because this went on. It went on. Ain't nobody stood up for this girl. Ain't nobody stood up for this girl. This girl is dead. She died last Wednesday because of fucking because of fucking dumbass people. You got me f so fucking mad that I'm sitting up there fucking slipping up. And and and. And I still sit there, man, and I'm going to end up hearing more stories about kids committing suicide because the parents ain't busting the grave, the police ain't doing shit, the school systems are fucked up. <coughs> uh, but y'all motherfuckers want to put Mitt Romney in there so that shit can get even worse. Okay, put Mitt Romney in there so all the kids can kill themselves right on TV. But it's like this, though. No, it's like this. We gotta take a stand against this bullying shit. We gotta put an end to it. Now. Cause that can be your child, that can be your niece, that can be your cousin, that can be your grandchild, that can be your niece and nephew. You just never know. That you might wake up one day and find that child, your son or your daughter laying up on a slab. Or your grandchild, your grandson or granddaughter laying up there. Or your niece or nephew laying up there. Or your cousin laid up on that slab because they got bullied so fucking hard that they, they end up committing suicide. That's all it is, man, because it pisses me off to that point. It really does. And ain't nobody doing a damn thing about it you know, yeah we can do YouTube videos all fucking day but when are we going to stand up against the bullying when are we going to put a law in place where you bully somebody in or out of school your ass going to fucking jail when are they going to make it where if you bully somebody and they commit suicide they change it from suicide to murder because words do hurt that sticks and stones may break my bones. Where that's bullshit. That sticks and stone shit is bullshit. Words kill. Words kill people. That's the worst thing they say. The worst weapon in the world is your mouth. It's that tongue. They say your tongue is a weapon. I know y'all gonna make that into a sex. Y'all oh yeah, licking pussy and all this shit. No, it's not that. Your tongue's a weapon. Your mouth's a weapon. You can form fucking words and hurt somebody to a point where they want to commit suicide. They want to commit suicide, and that's fucked up. Parent, like kids are doing, are committing suicide because of the bullying. T uh, adults are doing it because of this. Adults committing suicide because of this, and ain't nobody doing a fucking thing about it but letting this shit roll. I'm tired of this shit. Waking up every day, finding out a minor kills himself, kills themselves because of bullying. When is people gonna wake up and realize, man, this shit is serious? Don't sit up and all they just kids at first, y'all. Okay, kids killing kids. Okay, you ain't say nothing when them kids down the street kill some other kid. I tell you this: four teenagers, minors. Minor sitting up on this road. A guy was trying to be a country music artist. He was in the car with his mama and his sister. He got out and asked on four teenagers, Hey, how do you get here? You know what happened? They shot him right there in front of his family. Four teenagers killed one man. Killed one man. A 16 year old shoots a store clerk. Shoots a store clerk. Oh, kids are, kids are harmless. Every day I'm seeing kids bringing drugs to school, carrying weapons. And you're talking about like a kid killing a kid for being gay. A kid dies because he was gay. Kid brought the gun to school and shot this kid right there in his chest and died. 
and all y'all got to say kids are kids now if kids can go out and murder kids can go out and sell drugs what, what makes them any better than nobody else anybody else they broke the law just as like everybody else. If a kid, if a nine-year-old kid kills another nine-year-old kid, that kid goes to jail. Don't sit there and be, oh, we go just slap him on the wrist. No, fuck that. Prison time, baby. Prison time. A kid had to be 12 years old. Had to be between 10 and 11. Did a wrestling move. He was watching wrestling. WWE did a wrestling move. Off this two-year-old little girl. Two-year-old neighbor. Did a wrestling move off on her. The baby died. That boy serving life in prison with no parole. Did a wrestling move killing this little girl. He got life in prison. Y'all didn't say that when Columbine happened or or uh, Virginia Tech. Y'all didn't say, oh Lord, they all oh, just saying right there, but y'all really didn't do shit. What about Little Rock? Oh, we shouldn't have Oh, he just, it was just, do, do, do. no, for real. Kids killing kids. They're killing themselves off in this situation. A 33 year old man kills a 20 year old in college. Now that's some fucked up shit. But a girl that's getting bullied to the point where she commits suicide, that's what you need to worry about. A damn Irish girl that came from Ireland was called, being called an Irish hoe. An Irish hoe that was throwing shit in her hair. She went home. She walked up the stairs. She tied a rope at the banister. Not like you walk upstairs and there's a banister or something. And she hung herself right there in the stairwell. Her little sister came home and saw her. Because she was bullied so fucking badly. Now y'all and y'all said, Oh, kids will be kids. I ain't no kids will be kids when they commit suicide. I ain't never seen a kid that I look when I was in school, I ain't never seen a motherfucker I knew to go commit suicide. We was some tough ass motherfuckers. <coughs> and that's how it is. But it's like like I said, man, we need to put an end to this bullying shit. Like they say, children is our future. The way this is going, what future is we going to have? What future are we going to have when the kids are killing themselves off? Like I said, man, I'll put the video link to her explaining her story in the description box. Find me on Twitter at AfroJoe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, Silver Jr. 2, Silver Jr. 3. Follow me on Tumblr at Afro underscore Joe underscore Wookie, whatever. Because one thing is, man, don't sit up and all oh, she deserved what she got. I did not know bullying some girl is what she deserved. Bullying somebody is what she deserved. Now, that bitch that was fucking up that, fucking with that bus driver and put him in headlocks and spit in his face, she deserved what the hell she got. But this girl didn't. 15 years old committing suicide. That's fucked up, man. That's the same age as my niece. And I don't want that to happen. That's fucked up, man. This has been Afro Joe. Tell me what you think about this situation. Tell me what you think. Peace, love, and Afro Grease. Stop the bullying. Stop it. Stop the fucking bullying. Afro Joe the Wookiee says so. Stop the bullying.